This is the area and perimeter of regular polygons tutorial. A key concept to taking the area and perimeter of regular polygons is the central angle. This angle has its sides passing through consecutive vertices of the polygon and its vertex at the center of the polygon. So let's take a look at two consecutive vertices of this polygon here. These two could be considered consecutive vertices because they're right next to each other. So, if we created an angle beginning at the center of this polygon and passing through those two vertices, it would look something like this. Now, other central angles that you could create would be if you created from that top vertice there to this vertice on the left, or from that vertice right there down to here, that's another central angle, or from the center again down to here, all of these are central angles that we're creating, and they work with regular polygons. Now, let me tell you why they're important. They can later be used to help you approximate area for different regions of these polygons. So, let's move on now to the apothem. The apothem is the distance from the center of a polygon to the side of the polygon. So, if you were to draw that in, it would look like this. Now, the apothem can be used in solving for the area of a polygon. The formula for the area of a polygon is area is equal to one-half a, the apothem, times p, the perimeter of a figure. So, if I were to tell you that this apothem here had a length of five centimeters, and one side of this regular pentagon had a length of four centimeters, what would the area of this pentagon be? Well, you would just use the formula, area is equal to one-half apothem times perimeter. Since there are five sides to this pentagon, and each side has a length of four centimeters, since it's regular, the total perimeter of this pentagon is going to be equal to 20 centimeters. And we were given the apothem, the apothem had a length of five centimeters. So the area, of this pentagon, area of P there, is equal to one-half the apothem, five, times perimeter, 20. Five times 20 is 100, and one-half of 100 is 50. So the area of this pentagon has a length of 50 centimeters squared. Now this formula will work for any regular polygon, a square, a triangle, pentagon, hexagon, heptagon, what have you. It just has to be a regular polygon, meaning that all sides are the same distance and all the interior angles are the same measurement. Now let's move on to trapezoids. So the formula to calculate the area of a trapezoid is equal to the height of the trapezoid which you can solve by just drawing a line in from the top base down to the bottom base, times the sum of the bases, base one plus base two, so here's base one and here's base two, divided by two. So if I were to tell you that the height of this trapezoid was five inches, and base one up top here had a length of four inches, and base two down at the bottom had a length of nine inches, you could solve for the area of this trapezoid. You just plug it into the formula. Area of the trapezoid is equal to the height, in this case five, times the sum of the bases, four plus nine, divided by two. So, let's just simplify what we have in parentheses. We have five times four plus nine, which is 13, and 13 over two, is 6.5. So the area of this trapezoid, if you multiply those out together, 5 times 6.5, is 32.5 inches squared. So that's how you take the area of a trapezoid. Now let's move on to solving for the area of a kite or a rhombus. The area of a rhombus and a kite can be solved for using the same formula which is one-half times diagonal one times the diagonal two. I'm going to go ahead and indicate the diagonals of the rhombus on the left here and the kite on the right. 
with red lines. So if you had a problem asking you to solve for the area of, let's say, the kite on the right here, and you knew that this diagonal right here had a length of 2 meters, whereas the longer diagonal here had a length of 5 meters, to solve for the area of that kite, so area of the kite, you just use the formula 1 half times the diagonal 1, which has a length of 2, times the diagonal 2, which has a length of 5. So 2 times 5 is 10, and half of 10 is 5. So the area of this kite is equal to 5 square meters. Now we haven't spent a lot of time in this tutorial discussing perimeter. And that's just because perimeter doesn't really change for these regular polygons. It's just the distance around that figure, so the sum of all the side lengths added together. So on this rhombus here on the left, if I added those four side lengths together, that would be its perimeter. And the kite on the right, the same thing. If I just added these four side lengths together, that would be its perimeter as well. The same with the parallelograms we'll talk about in the future, the triangles, and the trapezoids we talked about earlier. So next, let's discuss the parallelogram. The formula to solve for the area of a parallelogram is simply base times height. Now, the base of the parallelogram would be this base down here. And let's just call it having a length of 5 centimeters. And the height of the parallelogram is if you were to draw a line from one base to the other base, at a 90 degree angle intersecting with those bases. So the bottom has a 90 degree angle and there's also a 90 degree angle up top here. I don't have to indicate that 90 degree angle because you know that this is a parallelogram, meaning those two sides are parallel to each other already. So you already know that it's a 90 degree angle up top. That height, let's say, has a length of five centimeters as well. So if you wanted, you could calculate the area of this parallelogram by simply multiplying the base length, which has a length of 5, times the height, which also in this case had a length of 5. So the area for this parallelogram would have a value of 25 centimeters squared. Parallelograms are fairly easy, and remember that with perimeter it's just going to be the sum of the lengths of all the sides that make up this parallelogram. Lastly, let's take a look at how to solve for the area and perimeter of triangles. Now remember, the perimeter here is going to be the same as we've been discussing. You're just going to add up the different lengths of the sides of this triangle, and that'll make up its perimeter. However, to solve for the area of a triangle, you'll use the formula area is equal to one-half the base of the triangle, so this is a potential base, and this is a potential base, and even this is a potential base, times the height of the triangle. And the height you can find by using any right angle along the triangle going from one leg to the next leg. So in this case, we have a convenient height. It's already sitting with a 90 degree angle right here. So I could use this as the base if I wanted, and this as the height. So if our base in this triangle had a value of 3 centimeters and our height had a value of 4 centimeters, then to solve for the area of the triangle, I would just multiply 1 half times the length of the base times the height, which had a length of 4 centimeters. So 3 times 4 is 12, and half of 12 is 6. So the area of this triangle is 6 centimeters squared.